you will be our God, Yahweh. We bow to worship you. Hi guys and welcome to Each One Teach One. This is Regina and I'm hoping and trusting that you are doing great and wonderful wherever you are watching me from. So today I would like to talk to you about a friend that you and I have in common. I I chose to give the title of the topic the, the title of this topic the unforgettable friend. Now I'm talking about no other but your maker, my maker, your creator and my creator because I feel that we are living in a society whereby we seem to have forgotten who, who brought us here and why we are here and his mission and his purpose and his vision for us. So, and I would like to ask you, have you ever had in your life a friend who has been there, who is always there for you, who has been there for you, stuck by your side through thick and thin, through hardships, through success, through your, your you know, good days and bad days? And what do you do with that kind of a friend, such kind of people who have been there with you, with you and for you, regardless of the seasons of your life? Do you just reach a point and feel that you have been successful, now you're okay, you're all good and you don't need them anymore in your life? Do you ever sit back and wonder if they still need you as a friend and as a close, you know, close friend to them? Do you take time to communicate with them? Do you take time to appreciate them? Do you take time to do good, you know, to, to just reciprocate the good that they did to you one day, one time? What do you do with those kind of people that have, oh, that kind of a person that has done so, so much for you? And I will tell you for me, I never forget any single thing that a good friend does to me. It doesn't matter how long it takes, and I'm not here to brag, but I never forget any single thing that someone has ever done to me, which is good, especially when I'm going through hardships. And above all other friends, God. Now, I chose to call him a friend because indeed he has been a good friend to me and a good friend of mine. He has seen me through hardships and through the storm and I feel like reminding us today to appreciate that this God and our maker and our creator. doesn't matter what level you are in right now, whether you have achieved your dreams and your goals in life or not, he deserves to be glorified in your life. He, it doesn't matter what you call him. Some call him Enkai, some call him Nyasai, Mulungu, Guy, whatever tribe you come from or whatever name you your tribe gives him or whatever nationality you come from. If he hears you when you call, do yourself a favor and just appreciate him. Don't reach a point whereby you feel like you have done it all by yourself. Remember those times that nobody else could have helped you. Nothing, nothing was working out and all people around you failed you. But God stuck by your side. Don't you ever. The worst mistake that you can ever make in life is to forget who created you and who has brought you this far. And one of the greatest success, you know, you know secret to success or, or in success or all success in life is sticking and standing with God even when you, you are on that, you know, you feel like you're on the top of the world. Because he will take you, when you think that you have achieved it all, he will take you even further to places and to, to places that you have never even thought of. So the secret to keeping your success, the secret to, you know, succeeding even more and enlarging your territories is sticking with this God, appreciating him, loving him even when you, you feel that you have already succeeded. I just want to, you know, ask to take a few minutes of this day, wherever you're watching me from, just reflect on what God has done to you or for you, even to those who you love. And just look up and, you know, up to him and tell him thank you with a grateful heart. Don't just say that he's a good God because your, your teacher or your parent or your friends or your relatives or your pastor say that he's a good God. Have a personal relationship with this God. Love him. Make him a good friend because he will stick with you. He's that one person that you can count on in, every, in any season of your life. So I thought of reminding you that. And remember what I shared with you some few weeks back, that even if the world sees and forgets who God is and what he has done, 
may we never ever forget who he is and where he has you know, where he has taken you from i'm wishing you a great time wherever you are watching me from remember god loves us he will never leave us he will never forsake us and i love you guys ciao